Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to cover all the tools and features in the Insert tab inside Google Slides. So if I click on the Insert tab on the top uh, menu and I select Text Box, this is going to allow me to come to my slide and click, left click and drag and create a text box inside my Google Slideshow. Um, so that's no different than on the toolbar, coming over here and clicking text box and doing the same thing. So again, this is just another redundant way to access a feature in slides. If I go back to the insert uh, function, I can come to image and it again is the same thing um, that you can do by going to image and selecting an image and uploading it um, or getting an image from your camera and so forth. So nothing has changed in what you can do really. Going down the insert, now the two things that are three things that have changed because they're not on the toolbar is going to a chart and selecting the type of chart you want to put in your slideshow. So if I want a pie chart, I'll select pie chart. The pie chart will now appear in my slideshow. To edit this pie chart, you're going to go to the top right corner and click on the down arrow and say open source. When I do that, that's where I can change the actual pie chart um, information. So if I come down to team one, I'm just going to say this is option one. And I can say this is option two and option three and option four. And I can say one, five, twelve. We'll leave it alone. And I can change the title to um, option example. Um, and now all I have to do is go click on the tab I was in on the slideshow and say update. Um, and so notice that you can see everything changed. Option one, two, three, and four, and it has the percentages the way I want. I can click on the blue box and shrink my graph, or excuse me, my pie chart, uh, to the size I want and put it where I want it in the slideshow. What's kind of neat is um, you can update this um, periodically, but I believe you're going to want to come back and hit update um, to verify that the updates have happened in your slideshow. Um, going down the insert options, uh, you have a diagram. This is really cool for teachers and students. Um, let me go to a blank slide so it's a little easier to see um, what we do here. Now if you want to insert a hierarchy chart, a timeline or process, relationship or cycle chart, you just select it. Let's do a timeline. Now if I click timeline, I'm going to get a bunch of timelines that I can select and then it's important you select the number of dates you want on that timeline. So if I want six dates on the timeline, I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to select this timeline and I can come in here and quickly edit anything on that timeline um, that I want and type on it and this is very useful for um, social studies and language arts and you know, any presentation in general where you want to show some type of timeline in your presentation. Um, going to the insert function, um, now we're going to go to a link. So if you click on something and you want to make that a hyperlink, that'll appear. Now note if I'm not selecting anything and I go to insert, that is not going to show up. Uh, but again, that's no different than if I click on something here and go to the chain, that's synonymous, I'm doing the same thing. Going to insert, video that's different so now I can go to URL and let me go ahead and get a URL of a video I have already and um, I'll go by URL and control V and hit select now once you insert that video you can shrink it to whatever size you want um, and put it in your vid your Google slideshow now you're going to see video options appear on your toolbar and when you click it this is where you can say hey I want this video to start at a specific time and not from the beginning I want my video to autoplay or I don't want it to play the audio when it plays um, you have these different functions when you insert a video in Google Slides now I have seen a cool trick and I'll show it in another uh, video more in depth where you can insert audio uh, narrations by doing a screen record um, and upload that to either Google Drive or YouTube and then shrink your video so no one can see it and have it autoplay so it will add audio to your Google Slideshow. Uh, moving down the insert um, tab, this is where I can put in word art and let's just say Eddie and hit enter and there is my word art. 
Um, so that's just a very easy way to insert your word art into the slideshow. Uh, and again, I guess if you change the font, it's going to change the font of that word art. Um, and again, I can change the color and then I can go give it a reflection and then I can give it a drop shadow and, you know, make the word art fancy. Uh, put it where I want to put it. And going down the insert uh, function, this is where I can go insert a line and a shape. We've already covered that. That's on your toolbar in my previous video. Um, a table, uh, again, the same thing as you do on a Google Doc. Um, you have a table that you can very quickly um, put into your slideshow and edit. Um, and I guess right click on it and this is where you can pull up your table options and merge cells and um, delete a certain row or a column and you have those different tools. Going down the insert um, table, animations, same thing as what we did with view animations. You open up that animation uh, toolbox uh, and I've covered this numerous times. Slide numbers is different. If I do slide numbers, um, it's going to put a slide number on every slide. Um, so you can see that every slide has a slide number. Now this um, timeline, let me move something out of the way, is hiding that number. So I just wanted to show you that that number actually is there. If you want to take the numbers off, you can just go to insert slide numbers and turn it off and hit apply and your slide numbers come off your slides uh, in your slide timeline. Going down the insert comment is the same thing as going to here on your toolbar and adding a comment. So if you want to add a comment to the whole slide, you quickly type your comment, type your comment and then enter it. And then lastly, um, a new slide is no different than coming to the plus sign or the drop down arrow and adding a new slide in your timeline. Um, thank you so much for watching this short tutorial on the insert tools. Um, to highlight some tools that I think are really important, I think the chart, the diagram, um, and the video are very powerful tools that you will not find on the timeline um, that are beneficial to your slideshow presentation. Thank you so much for watching this short tutorial.